After the barrage of cost 100 units and a truckload of vision cards, Gumi has no intention of letting you catch your breath, as the much anticipated Full Metal Alchemist collaboration is about to begin. But I imagine that most people barely have any Vizio remaining if they have any left at all, so you need to make decisions regarding what to pull for and what to ignore. But keeping in mind that collaborations like this may never happen again, and that is something Nier fans understand very well, it can make these decisions even more difficult. But don't worry everyone, the editor man is here to help, so let's take a look and figure out what you should probably consider getting from this collaboration, and what you can live without. Starting off with the free unit from this collab, Edward Elric. This short, tiny man is actually really good. He is a strike-based unit which already gives him an edge. Edward can be a very solid unit for new players, casual players and meta babies too. For new players, you don't have to pull for him, which will let you save up some Vizior, some of which you can use to just build him up. For team building, we have Tifa available right now and she can form a half decent team alongside Edward. You will need to get Tifa's card and another card we will talk about in a moment, but both of the units are free so you are getting incredible bang for your buck. This can work well for casual players who want to build a new team on a budget. Meta Babies probably want Elric to use him in a full strike team however. Alphonse would also be a very solid partner for him alongside the Crystal Warrior Perrine. So Edward definitely holds value. But if you don't have any interest in full strike teams or win teams, then you can safely ignore him. Alphonse Elric is pretty interesting. He is a tank who brings a new mechanic with him which will allow him to reduce the effectiveness of elemental chains. New and casual players can fit him as a third alongside the duo of Edward and Tifa. Which means you only need to pull for one unit to make the whole team. Meta babies, like I mentioned earlier, would probably use him as a part of their strike team, so there's that. For lightning element players, however, Alphonse does bring some value, but not enough to make him a must-have just for mono lightning teams. But if you miss some big element lightning units and still want to build a competent lightning team, in that case, Alphonse could be pretty good for you. But still, his best place is in a strike team in my opinion. So he is worth pulling for if you want to build some kind of strike team. But even then, it's not like he's an absolute game changer or something. And if you don't have any interest in strike teams or if you don't have proper investment in the lightning element, then he can be skipped pretty safely. Taking a look at the vision card which comes along with the Elric brothers, you absolutely need it if you want to build a strike team of any level, whether as a new player or a meta baby one. But the cute things about job based cards is that you can safely skip them if you aren't building a very particular team. So if you aren't a fan of strike based teams, then you can safely move along. Moving on to a big fan favorite, Roy Mustang is someone I am sure a lot of people are looking forward to. But if we want to talk about him from a strictly gameplay point of view, then we have to consider a few things. Roy is a fire element mage who can deal a lot of damage but is somewhat fragile. In general, he is not a game changer of a unit in case that is all you're interested in. But whether you should pull for him or not anyway kinda depends on what kind of team you want to use him in. If you want a more balanced team, you can put him alongside King Mond and the third could be Hayo or Seria, one of the old Crystal Warriors. It's a decent team, you should be able to deal a lot of damage between Hayo and Roy but nothing to go crazy about. But taking a look into the future, we will be getting Terra from the Final Fantasy VI collaboration pretty soon. Alongside her, we will also be getting the crazy clown Kefka. If you want to, you could build a pure magic based team around them. But this could mean pulling for 3 units and a couple of vision cards too. Things can get pretty expensive if you go this way. And even then, I don't know if you will get a lot of bang for your buck, even if you do get everything. In my opinion, Roy Mustang should be a unit you pull for because you really like him and not for meta viability. And if you already have a ton of investment in the fire element, then I believe you can skip him. The vision card which comes along with Roy should only be pulled if you're going after him too. It will also work with Kefka who will come later so if a fire mage team featuring both Kefka and Roy is something you want later then you'll want to get this card now. But if you skip Roy then skip this card too. And finally we get to the big eye patch wearing dude King Bradley. He is the big cost 100 unit of the full metal alchemist collaboration and a unit who deserves to be a cost 100 unit. He is the game changer which the earth element has been waiting for. And if you are an Earth Element player, then Bradley is a must-have unit. There are no two ways about it. You gotta pull for him and you will regret it deeply if you don't. So in summary, out of all the Full Metal Alchemist collaboration stuff, in terms of raw meta viability, I think King Bradley is right at the top there. Roy Mustang and his card are the most skip worthy I feel, unless you are a big fan of Roy and wanna build a fire magic team in the future. Alphonse does have value, more for strike based teams than lightning ones I think. 
and Edward can be well worth investing in for new players and meta babies alike. But Alphonse and Edward and their vision card can be skipped if you have no interest in strike based teams. So there you have it guys, that was a quick at a glance kind of look at all the Full Metal Alchemist stuff. A lot of people are running very low on Vizio right now so we all have to make informed decisions on what to go after. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions or if I missed anything important like I usually do then do let me know in the comments. Have a great day everybody, I am the Editor Man and I'll see you all next time, bye bye.